In this video, we're going to talk about pushing and pulling columns in Bootstrap. And this is sort of useful if you want to be more and more responsive with your website. And this has to do with multiple devices. Now, this will be apparent in a few minutes. Now, to make this example more real world, I've moved our main column to the first position. So this should appear on the left and our sidebar will now appear in the center. So let's go ahead and launch this in Chrome and let's see what we get. And that's exactly what we wanted. So our main column now is on the left and our sidebar is now in the center. Now, let's go ahead and minimize this and let's see what this looks like on small devices. And that's exactly what we wanted. Now, the reason a lot of people do this is they want their main content on small devices to appear first. That's usually good operating procedure to put your main column at the very beginning, because as you know, this is a small device and you want that content right at the top. And then all the rest of the smaller content can go on the bottom. But of course, if your user is on the desktop, it is standard operating procedure to put the main column in the center. So how do we get the best of both worlds? How do we get this main column appear in the center? Now, if we move it back, that will drop the main column down on small devices. So that's where pushing and pulling comes to the rescue. And what we can do is push this column to the right. And that's what pushing means. It means pushing to the right. And then we can pull this column back to the left. So once again, pushing pushes it to the right and pulling pulls it to the left. So let's go ahead and and do that. So we're first going to go right here and we're going to type in call hyphen MD hyphen and here is where we use the keyword push because remember we want to push our main column to the right and we're going to push it three columns and that's what this means. We're going to push this three columns to the right and we're only going to be doing this on medium sized devices and larger. So the large and medium sized devices will only push this column. This will not occur on small devices because remember we want our main column to appear first on small devices such as cell phones. So that's what we use. Now, if you're going to push, you also have to pull the other column. Otherwise you're gonna get some weird results. So that's what we need to do. We need to now pull this column to the left. And all we do here is switch this to the keyword pull. But we have to pull this six columns. Because remember, this is six columns away because this large column here, our MD6 column, is in the left position. So we need to pull this back six and we need to push this three. Now, you may get confused by this, but really what we're doing is we're just swapping, right? We're swapping columns. And if you're not sure about the size, I have this little trick I use. You'll notice here that this is MD6. Well, you want to match it down here. So this column needs to be pulled back six spaces. And you'll notice that we determine three columns here because this is three columns in size. So we only need to push this three. So you notice this kind of diagonal little relationship. This is six and six, and this is three and three. So that's kind of a good way you can actually calculate how far you have to pull or push. You can just kind of use that little magic that I just did. So let's go ahead and save this and let's go ahead and load up our page and take a look at that. That worked perfectly. It pushed our main column to the right and we pushed our left column to the left. So everything looks great on the medium sized device. Now what we need to make sure is that this didn't take effect on the smaller devices. So let's minimize this and take a look at that. We get exactly what we needed. We wanted our main column to appear first on cell phones and small devices. So that's how pushing and pulling works. And remember, it starts right here. We said, hey, push this only on medium sized devices and bigger. And same thing for the pull. So again, that's how pushing and pulling works. And it's very useful if you want to have a very responsive web page and you want to reorder your columns depending on the device that is being used for your website. 